ओके या और ये बोल्ट सी माई स्क्रीन राइट गाइस लॉस्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्सेप्शंस एक्सेप्शन हायर आर चे एक्सेप्शन एंड एरर एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस ट्राइ कैच फाइनली थ्रू एंड थ्रूस ब्रीफली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट देम नाउ विल गो फॉर चेकड एक्सेप्शंस ओके नाउ विल स्टार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन इज चेकड एक्सेप्शन अदर वन इज अनचेकड एक्सेप्शंस राइट so what is mean by checked exceptions what is mean by checked exceptions so checked exceptions means <clears throat> that who will verify that checked exceptions means compiler will check that okay whenever you are writing any code okay whatever the code that we have written the compiler will check everything so at run time without any error this code will execute or not okay so all those things will be done by compiler at the time of compilation at the time of compilation time means writing time just assume it is of writing time <clears throat> okay now and who will handle and how to handle that exceptions the compile checked exception means checked exception means compulsory we need to handle those exceptions by using either try catch block or by using throws class okay either by we need to use of try catch block or we need to use of throws class we need to write it if you are not using any one either try catch block or throws class then we will get a compile time exception we will get a compile time exceptions now let's see let me create of one package under ibc okay exceptions okay so just assume of that just assume that so i'm writing one method just assume anything that you are writing some code okay most uh, like uh, let me create a for some code for which is throwing up some compile time exceptions before that i read that pair and then we'll go for practical things okay the exceptions which are checked by the compiler okay any exception that is validating by the compiler okay for smooth execution of a program we'll call it as a checked exceptions okay or any exception that are verified by the compiler at the compilation time we will call it as a compile time exceptions okay or checked exceptions so you know we'll call it as a compile time exceptions also we'll call it them okay now these exceptions must be handled the checked exceptions means compulsory without without clearing that checked exceptions we can't proceed it will throw an error okay so these checked exceptions must be handled okay we must and should handle by using either try catch blocks are using throws class are using throws class okay if you are not handling them if you are not handling the checked exceptions then compiler will throw an compile time exception a compiler will throw will show some errors this code cannot be compiled please rectify the compilation errors okay now so what are the classes of what are the classes of uh, checked exception means uh, so how to know whether they we have a uh, lot of hundreds of uh, exception classes uh, we have hundreds of uh, exception classes guys so uh, which class we will we, we can say like uh, whether it is a checked exception or uh, checked exception or unchecked exception okay checked exception or uh, unchecked uh, exception okay how to say that one means uh, so it is depends on okay there is one runtime exception class okay there is one runtime exception class so under that whatever the child classes that is there under that whatever the child classes that is there let's say runtime exception 
okay so this is one class okay so this is there in some package let's go and see it is in some runtime package it is of the package of the runtime class is different let me in java dot lang package under this see java dot lang package the package of runtime exception is uh there is some package will be for runtime java dot lang package right inside that this is a package name all the classes under runtime exceptions all the classes of runtime exception under that so there may be a there some examples of arithmetic exception arith sorry lobby let's take off uh, arithmetic exception okay and uh, let's take off uh, some null pointer exception null pointer exception so the super class of this class what is the which super class of null pointer exception is runtime exception right super class of uh, arithmetic exception let's go and see super class of uh, arithmetic exception is uh, runtime exception okay so whichever class whichever exception class uh, extends runtime exception then that case uh, runtime exception under uh, all the subclasses uh, under whichever class extending runtime exception exception class uh, so apart from that classes apart from that class and its child classes uh, error and its child classes uh, there is a <coughs> one second yeah so under whatever the classes that is there right so under runtime exception we have arithmetic exception null pointer exception lot of exceptions are there so apart from these classes under the error and under the classes apart from this whatever the classes that is there io exception under subclass x sql exception select exceptions whatever the other rest of exceptions let's say assume a thousand exceptions are there under runtime runtime exception under under its subclass are 100 is there and error and its subclass are 200 is there so out of thousand apart from these 2200 rest of any 800 exceptions are related to just assume just uh, for assumption i have given thousand okay rest 800 exception class are checked exception classes rest 800 are checked exception classes okay now let's read that point also if anything is not clear we will see that point again okay come down yeah the so runtime exception and its subclasses are child classes okay error and its child classes error and its child classes are unchecked and all other remaining all other remaining classes we can consider as checked exception classes except these two remaining all are checked exception classes okay that's what the meaning of this let's take off one example okay let's take it off one example now so if i'm writing of class dot for name of some just some class okay it is trying to load off this class what it is saying unhandled exception type class not found exception why it is giving class not found exception means so if i'm at the time of compilation time if i'm allowing this at the time of compilation time if i'm without exception if i'm allowing at the run time at the runtime while running this test class if it is not available if a test class is not available then it will throw an exception called class not found exception instead of throwing exception at runtime okay i am giving some suggestion please handle this exception it may throw an exception it may throw an exception if the available class is if the requested class is not available in the class path let's say let's say for example add surround try and catch okay this is one way now let's say if i am actually the test class i am trying okay under this package wherever you are writing 
under check exemption test in this package okay in this package if the class is not available it will throw an it is throwing see the code is throwing class not found exception test the class test is not available in the class path i am not able to identify let's say control n class test okay that's right class test copy of this package okay copy of this package dot now in this package in this package the test class is available see the test class is available in this case it is not give any exception see it won't give off see it is not giving off any exception now system dot out dot print ln class test class is test class is loaded okay see it will give off a test class is loaded okay let's say for example if i am modifying of so do you have any test one class guys in this package do you have any test one class so under exception package under exceptions package do you have any class with the test one no right then in this case up to this the controller will not come so it will accept it will throw an exception here only okay system dot out dot print ln e dot get message it will give only the error message so i will differentiate what exactly it is see what happened we have we have handled that by using of try and catch so the catch block is handle that exception and it is executing okay if try and catch is not there if try and catch is not there then it will not allow to execute it will throw an exception called class not found exception because first of all the compilation itself is failing so it is there is no exception is handled so one is that we use of try catch other way is add throws exception add throws exception so this class this method main method is throwing throws class not found exception it is throwing okay whoever is handle this exception whoever is calling this whoever is calling who is going to call this main method guys who is calling main method guys who is calling the main method jvm right jvm call main method we are not responsible to call the main method right jvm only will call this main method right so if we are not handling this exception within the method then this exception will go to jvm if the exception is reaching to jvm abnormal termination will happen abnormal termination will happen see in this line exception is raised okay in this line exception got raised so after this line this line cannot be executed okay if we are handling that exception within the method okay or else let's take off some example okay now this is one way of handling exception by using try and catch okay if you are try and catch let's remove it okay then in this case if this class is not available then this exception will throw uh, that we are catching in the catch block that message we are printing okay just simply remove this and simply print the message that and then this uh, statement last statement also will execute that okay see we got off uh, this exception message it is not identified okay now next this is also this also will statement is executed okay now if i am writing this statement if i am control x me method one okay method one create of method write of that code inside write of that code inside 
inside method one so if i am not writing the try and catch block in if i am not writing try and catch block in second yeah if i am not writing try and catch then so it is trying it is trying some error so there is no unhandled exception class not found there so two ways one is either by using try and catch or by using or by using uh, throws class right now let's say in this case in this case uh, i have handled that exception right so by using try catch block uh, the class not found exception is exception is uh, handled by using try catch okay now in this case no error okay now let's run it is not giving the error message error is catched and then that is also is not throwing we exception is raised that we are catching okay now let's no exception then it will fit only test class is loaded test class is loaded normally even before this also i will show you one test class is loaded if test one means it is throwing off some exception class not found exception okay class is not identified this class and then that we are handled that by using catch block and then it is continuing so if you are not writing this try catch within the method so what i am what i am telling so i don't know how to handle the exception of class not found exception okay in this may in the method one i don't know handle how to handle the exception of class not found then in that case what is the other way is we can accept we can throw we can we can thro we can throw so class not class not found exception okay it will throw off class not found exception okay so if this method where we are calling method one guys so in the method one we got some exception you don't know how to handle that exception okay then in that case compulsory we need to throw that exception whatever that is causing then we need to throw out of that method okay so in the method signature itself i am throwing throws class not found exception so where we are calling method one now where we are calling guys so no no the method one where we are calling who is calling inside main method we are calling right inside main method we are calling explicitly correct or not so this method one is throwing some exception so what it is saying where we are calling inside main method we are calling method one right so in this line we need to handle that exception okay the method one is not handling in the main method at least in the main method inside main method inside main method we need to handle that exception add catch try and catch or even if for here also if you are throwing as class not found exception then that exception will reach to jvm abnormal termination will happen now let's see in this case in this case this will execute so this will not now let's the exception is catched by the exception is catch in the main method see it will so where exactly see the exception got thrown in method 1 line number 22 line number 22 we are throwing this exception okay that exception we are handling here okay or if you don't want to show that then directly there is some e dot there is some message is called two string method okay now let's we got off exception in this line it is throwing error okay and that exception is where we are calling in line number eight we are calling in the main method in this main method is already there in the try and catch so that exception we are catching in catch block that exception we are writing in Catch, we are catching that exception whatever that is there to string let's 
now run it block block is mean nothing but a group of statements right so what type of statements that we will write inside the try block means what is try what is catch so try block means it is a group of statements we can write what type of statements that we can write inside the try block means so you are writing some hundred lines of code out of that some 10 lines may throw some exception okay some 10 lines means so let's say this line is throwing some exception right let's say leave it about if i am not writing this one then it will throw an exception okay because of this line the exception is coming correct because of this line error is throwing right see it is showing unhandled exception type class not found exception this line is throwing some exception correct or not so if any line is throwing some exception so those lines of statements if you are writing inside catch block inside catch block so that whatever the statements that will throw an exception so we will write those course code in try black so what type of exceptions that will throw the statements which are inside try black those exceptions those errors we can handle by using catch block so why do we need to write the try and catch is if you are not handling that by using try and catch if you are not writing that the jvm will terminate the program or will stop the execution of the program in the middle of the execution wherever it is identified the exception wherever the exception is identified there itself it will stop that continuation it will not continue further these are because of code it will come okay there may be some user defined exceptions also users also who are going to use the application right let's say you are logging into some application okay let's say google facebook login just try okay login to facebook okay let's say if i'm simply something giving and both username and password do you have this username and password in the database simply I give something. okay let's say you have given your own username and password if it is already you have on facebook account you can log in correctly if this both are not there let's see what it will happen what it is giving it is giving some clear error message right it is giving clearly some error message the email exception so that we are handled the whatever the username that you have given that is not there they are throwing the user defined exception user defined so if it is giving off the exception like this let's one second so if it is giving the exception or not this let's uh, okay so if you are not giving the proper error message normally if this test class is not there if this test class is not there test one class so it is giving of error like this type of exception it is giving okay if this is if we are giving this error message whatever it is coming here if i am giving here to the user to you okay will you understood that what is the what why this error is coming you can't write so if i am let's say in this case let's create a for my own exception user not found exception okay if i'm giving some exception user not found exception okay just assume okay and the extents of runtime exception okay 
right off string message okay. yes runtime it's already there in the java yes to get our class as exception behavior compulsory we need to extend one class to get our class as exception behavior okay that is i'll explain one custom exception okay in runtime for example i'm giving here super message okay just assume second yeah so here i am passing to just assume that username and password i am passing okay string user name okay comma string password just assume it is a facebook application username password validation just assume guys okay so whenever you are clicking on login button okay just assume this method will call okay compulsory the some method java code will call okay let's say if you are our application is we are developing now oh, if our username if our username this is of uh, i'm passing ad admin comma s2 one two three okay so here instead of this instead of this if my username is not equal to admin okay if my username dot equals of admin and and password and password dot equals password dot equals equal to test to one two three okay then in this case if both are equal i can say it is success okay let's say system dot out dot 20 ln user login yes you success it will display home page okay just assume if this is not the case else okay else block else if let me copy of same condition user is not equal to these two if it is not match anyone as username is not admin okay or else remove if user is not admin okay then i can say system dot out dot print ln true new user not found exception of message user not available in database compulsory that user account user does not available in the database or user does not having user does not have facebook account please create okay just assume i given some message okay this is my own message guys correct or not if this message is going to the user means he can he can understood or not user does not having facebook account please create it okay if i am if you are not logging with admin just assume let's uh, let's say one as java application what is giving guys user is what is there what is it is giving here user is login success because i am passing in the method admin and test one two three right if i am passing as one admin one okay now let's see what exception it will throw it is showing as some exception right no instead of this whenever it is giving an exception that time 
we will give and only the message to the user is only this one only this one so this exception we must and should handle and give only the message to the user is like user does not having facebook account please create please create it not clear now this exception it will throw to here this exception will throw here okay now by catch even because of this line it is throwing up some exception which exception user not found exception right now i am catch that exception okay which exception user not user not found exception this is my own exception guys okay now see that system dot out dot printl now for e dot to string now let's see what it will print it will give a reasonable error message that user can understood correct or not right we will give one more method is there e dot get message this will give only the error description the two string method will give exception along with description that also i, have, I will explain see this is going to give off instead of this line it is going to give off only user not found exception the exception is coming so if it is giving off admin means then user will load successfully user login is successful okay if user not this one if you are passing off any other one okay other than admin like that then if that account is not there in the database it will give an error message like user does not having facebook account please create or invalid credentials something we need to give okay so that means that so that is depends on our condition requirement we need to write our logic okay the you are asked this question yeah go ahead no 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 dynamic values will pass here here we will pass as a dynamic values that with that values it will go to the database with that values it will go to the database now if you want of if i am showing one application also that you people cannot understood that let me let me import one class one second guys Super batch. Let me open up Java training. October batch. Advanced Java. Sir, let's JSP is right. So let's see. Sir, let workspace. Banking project. We don't have that project. Let me. So you that project JSP workspace online banking system. Yes. Let me open up this workspace. Let me open one more workspace. That code I'll show you.
okay fine let me this is not having server gsp workspace okay no problem let it be yeah so this is one of the application that we will discuss in future okay let me open it this is one of the application that we will validate it okay testing of login username password with that all those things one web application okay Let's, uh, let's configure the server. I need to configure this. Yes. See, this is the application, okay? Customer login page, okay? Here we'll give username and password, okay? If you are not giving correct username and password, and see, if I'm giving something, this is our application, guys. So it is not allowing. It is giving again the same login page, okay? That's what we are not handling that error message, but same page is login. If I'm giving as correct account, let's create a form. One account, just assume. Venkat. Data for password is also same. Okay. Color white. Press BNG Bangalore. Venkat at gmail.com. Okay. Mobile one, two, three, four, five, seven. Create account. See, it is account is created successfully. Click on here. Now let's log in with the account. Username is Venkat. Password is also same. It is logged into application. How exactly it is logged in? This is a advanced Java, guys. Okay. Whoever that Java continues Spring, Hibernate, those things, they will understand. They will. We can discuss in the future classes. Okay. In this one, if you are not giving anything. Then internally it is going to we are doing a lot of exceptions okay see user not exist exception when it is going to give an error when it is going to give an error now let's control shift go to web go to controller login controller See, I am writing entered invalid credentials somewhere. We'll throw an exception called user not found exception. Where exactly? Let me. File search. That we are not. Yeah, let's say. Yeah, like this here, we are checking the condition. See, whatever that we are, I showed you, right? This is the one. So, this is the hard coded one. If it, this is not there, means I am going to check off with the database. It is going to some other method. Inside this method, I am calling off some other database logic. Inside this, I am writing off database query to check off whether the username and password is available in the database or not. If it is not there, then it is going to return off empty. If it is there, the data will return something. Otherwise, it is going to, by default, it will give as false. False means the user does not exist. That we need to assume that, and then we need to give the return page as, see, 
if it is it false means then this block will not execute true means then only this block will execute otherwise false means uh, this block will execute error message is uh, go to the login page again and the entered credentials are not valid with this uh, error it will go back to the same page again okay normally this is of advanced java logic guys okay normally in the core java means core java is basic for to write any logic even advanced java also this is all core java without core java understanding we can't write this one okay so if you want to write of any exceptions in the application compulsory we need to write our own exceptions depends on which of the statements that is throwing an exception depends on the values it is giving okay in the database if the values is not the username and password is not there i'll throw an exception is like user does not exist or invalid credentials entered credentials invalid please create new account if the account does not exist like that we can throw their own exceptions based on that user will react it guess we were asked this question is it clear maybe this is advanced level you may not understood this code okay going forward you will understood that slowly guess what this question is it okay the exceptions is compulsory we need to handle that so depends on our requirement we can throw our own exceptions or it can throw off the exceptions which is already existing predefined exceptions also it can throw let me guess who asked this question so is it fine or you want me to repeat it again the exceptions means yeah exception means so whatever the code and whatever the code that we are writing it is not 100% sure right whatever the code that we are writing it is not like 100% is correct we are not robots right so if any exceptions is coming how to handle that if any error is coming in our code if any exception is coming in our code how to handle that instead of stopping the execution of the program in the middle itself okay if 100 lines of code is there in 50 after 50th line if any error is coming just assume if any some error is coming then in that case after 50th line jvm cannot continue to execution of rest of the 50 lines out of 100 okay so if you want to continue the rest of the 50 lines also we need to handle that exception and what is coming at line number 50 okay if not still not clear means let me remove of this let me take one more example let's see then test now uh, what should i take let me write of some method m1 method okay m1 method is taking of some two parameters int num1 comma int num2 okay and let me oh let me then comma 20 write the method so while i am doing my own logic here while i am doing my own logic here for addition i don't know what operation i will do all operations inside this only i am i will create a one more add of add of i comma j i will do one method one more method i will call i will create a one more method okay so inside this only i will cut off just i will call off one more method divide okay, just assume divide method i am calling off i comma j okay divide of i comma 
Okay, if I'm passing off, okay, if I'm passing off, let's add off one more method, divide method, okay. So then in this case, system dot out dot print ln result is i plus j. This will print sum sum is okay. Now system dot out dot print ln of divide value is i by j just assume okay in this case do, will we get any error guys just assume in this case so first what is the values that i am passing to m1 method what is the values i am passing to 10 comma 20 right to the two two parameters so the two parameters i am passing to add method right i have written a separate add method again separate add method again oh this is of different layer flex ij i press now so in the add method, I am doing a sum of two numbers. This line won't give any error. It will successfully, it will print it. And even in this case also, the values are correct. I am passing 10 by 20. It will give at least 0 0.5 sum value. Okay. It is a positive scenario. What is the I value? It is an int, right? It is of int type. So you can give up, just assume, I j by or else leave it here 40 give it 40 why means uh, it will give 0, 0.0 but we are giving here as int type so that is the reason it is almost it is giving remove of that value okay now it is giving of divide by 40 by 2 is coming as uh, 2 if i am giving here as uh, 0 if i am giving here as 0 Depends on, I don't know which values I'll pass, right? So in that case, uh, this line will throw an exception. The second line uh, will throw an exception. We don't know which line uh, it will throw an exception, right? Uh, so in that case, uh, it is not 100% sure, our code will execute. Sometimes exception is throwing some scenarios. So that scenario, so if that scenario is there, then at after this line, okay, end of... Uh, m1 method end of m1 method in this case it will not execute the last line of code okay if i am passing 10 then in this case last line also code will execute everything will execute perfectly right in this case the code is not executing till end of that so jvm is identifying some exception okay this method is causing some error so no one is handled that exception. That exception is reached to JVM. If any exception is reached to JVM, then abnormal termination will happen. Abnormal termination means, so at the middle of the execution of the program will halt it. So wherever that exception is raised, until that, after that, the code, of the rest of the code will not execute. Okay. If you are handling this exception, then only the rest of the code will execute or else so in that case what we need to do we will write only this statement this is not giving any error even in case of zero also it is not giving any error right even in case of if i am passing second parameter as zero also it won't give any error if i am passing second parameter as zero then in this case in line number 11 it is causing error in line number 11 what is the method divide method divide method is calling of this 14th to 16th line while executing of this part, while executing of this part, or result, okay. Let's make it int result equal to i by j. Actual cause the error is this line, okay. Now, if you want, 
you can see that line number 11 and where exactly line number 11 is calling line number one second line number 11 is calling of divide method see from starting you can it is giving actual exception place where exactly line number 11 is causing an issue from where we are calling this one this method this method line number uh, divide method we are calling from line number 11 line number 11 we are calling line number 11 where exactly we are calling line number 6 we are calling of m1 method it will slow it will show the flow of where exactly from where to where that exception is calling okay now if you are handling this exception the whatever the exception that is coming in line number 15 if you are handling that exception within the method either within the method or wherever it is calling place okay this line is causing an error okay either here or here okay let's write here only try okay this line is causing an exception so we need to write the statements which are throwing an exception which are throwing an exception so those statements only we will write inside try block okay so which type of exception it is throwing arithmetic exception here you will write of arithmetic exception okay in the catch block write arithmetic exception now this is of inner result this result variable is only within inside of within inside try block only we can use that variable name now so what is the error that is causing system dot out dot print ln of e dot get message e dot get message now system dot out dot print ln end of divide method end of divide method is completed okay now if you want write some starting and ending system dot out dot print ln start of divide method start of divide method Inside this okay. now if I'm passing everything is valid values then both see yeah start of add method some value is printed end of add method is completed next again after that we are calling of divide method divide method start of divide method divide method value is coming as 4 40 by 10 means 4 is coming okay next end of divide method and end of m1 method if i am passing here as 0 then in this line it will throw an exception the exception is coming as arithmetic exception now let's see it will show we are handling that exception by using catch block right now let's see start of add method okay starting of add method is started okay and add method it is clear that result also 40 plus 0 40 okay and end of add method next divide method we are calling in m1 method second line right so the divide method will start divide method is started okay this line is executed at this line execution it is throwing some divide by zero exception and after this line will not never execute in this line we got the exception okay with that exception it will come to the controller come to catch block this statement will not execute okay we handle that exception right so then this catch block will catch that whatever the arithmetic exception that is throwing in the line number 18 so and i am printing off what is the message of that error message it is of divide by zero error is throwing okay and then end of divide method okay once the divide method is completed then it will go to control course to this line will complete and then m1 method will finish its execution 
that's what the last one end of m1 method so this what whatever the statements remember one thing guys whatever the statements that is causing an exception those statements we need to write inside try and catch so before case what is this is a front time exception only in compile time this is not showing any error okay but before case okay before case what is the case class dot class dot for name of some test class just assume this package inside this package i'm writing of this name i'm loading of this class guys test class dot for here okay what it is giving this is throwing an class not found exception but your handle here as arithmetic exception okay now let's catch up one more catch block we can write off multiple catch blocks no issues okay class not found exception e dot get message now let's see in this case which message it will give if i'm writing up class not this test one is not there test means it is there okay now let's see it will give as what is that this test one is not there if you want more details on this e dot e dot print track is else e dot um, uh, two string okay e dot two string system not out at 20 ln let's run it see it is throwing f class not found exception okay if this is available after this line this will this line will never execute system but class is loaded in this case if any exception is coming class loaded part will not execute see class loaded is not executed right class loaded the statement will not execute because in this line only it is giving error okay in that case the respect exception which in class not found exception this catch block will execute okay now if i am removing this one if i am removing this one just see now this line also will execute class is loaded that message also will print in the log see class is loaded and whatever the exception that is throwing before that is not throwing now okay guys is it clearing or not <laughs> checked exception how to explain then i need to think on one more way or or else uh, i'll repeat this uh, checked ex exception uh, checked exceptions uh, once again if you are not people i think i'm thinking you fully not clear i'm understanding that so i will repeat this uh, exceptions part again guys okay guys fine yeah fine we'll meet tomorrow guys again i'll repeat the exception class tomorrow again once again okay thank you